I've got another app showcase for you guys today. We're going to start right off with this beta. It's called RipX Backstage. Let's jump right in. This is kind of a music layers production type of app where it splits out layers of songs for each instrument spatially around you. Uh, to see what it looks like, they got a few rips that are kind of samples built into the beta, but you can actually use a software on your computer to uh, put your own music into uh, this app and it kind of splits out all the instruments for you. But let's take a look at what it looks like. We'll start with Thunderstruck. All right, I'm keeping the volume a little bit low so you can hear me over it, but I'm gonna have to walk around for this one. You'll notice that it has every part of the song broken out. And notice as I walk over towards the bass, and by the way, see in this demo, it's only 25 seconds, so we're gonna play again. And as I am chilling over here by the bass, I can really only hear the bass. Same with the electric guitar, now the vocals. So this is a pretty interesting app. If you're really into music and production, you really wanna kinda of take a song and split out the layers and understand each instrument separately. It has some pretty cool visuals showing uh, the different notes for each of these instruments. When we go into showcase mode, we have kind of this full 3D layer effect for the entire song. And I can go ahead and play. And then there's also things like learn and perform, which I believe allows you to have such different settings between each of these. And you can really kind of dig in and decrease the volume on certain instruments. Again, this is a beta. I'm not exactly sure what else this is supposed to be offering at this point, but we'll keep going and record and create. We can go into a producer deck. And here in the producer deck, it just shows you a few more visuals, a few options. I think eventually you can be recording as well, but some of these features do seem like they're not quite fully cooked yet. Uh, so excited to see kind of what happens with this app. It also does allow you to connect Bluetooth MIDI devices as well. It's pretty early still for this app. I want to come back to this one when it's fully released and really try to use the producer settings and test a little bit further. But that's just a quick look at this beta. Next up is Immersive India. This is another one of those video player apps. It's uh, a team has gone out and filmed in full 180 3D immersive video. And this was a, let's see, a three and a half gig file for two and a half minutes that I just downloaded. I've not seen it yet, so you'll see my live reaction. Let's see how good it looks. This is actually really high quality. This honestly seems right on par with Apple's own immersive content. Of course, we can still see the hands. It's the edge of the 180 view. When you're looking forward like this, no black in your field of view. Wow. I've really been loving some of this immersive content. This just looks really good. Almost like we're just sitting right here with this pottery maker. And they've got quite a few different things to download. Uh, let's see if I choose one more. It looks like I can just download all of these for free. So that's pretty cool. Excited to see uh, some more of those. I'll have to watch those on my own time. Next up, it's touch test. Notice we have kind of a, a flat little drawing space here. This is really meant to be sitting on a table. Now it doesn't snap to the table. It's a little bit hard to tell like where exactly to put it, but let me sit down here and try to get it really close. We're gonna make a new drawing and I just use my finger now to draw Interesting. See, this is not really catching my finger too well, I think. It's just a little bit too low. Let's bring it right here. There we go. So this is kind of a fun app that allows you to really draw on any flat surface. And we've got all sorts of different uh, functions here. We also have an eraser if we don't want to do undo. And we got a paintbrush. We can make it really big. We can change the color, of course. Big paintbrush down to very small. And then we have a pencil. We can make that very tiny. Let's make that, uh, how about dark green? You can see that's actually like super small. That's even kind of hard to see from here. So let's make that full size.
there we go. So it, it looks pretty real. It's like I'm really drawing on my table. So that's pretty fun. And then uh, we've got just another couple little tools here, which I'll show you really quickly. I'll make it a little brighter so it's easier to see. There we go. So it does get pretty bright and vibrant. Just testing the limits here. If I make this really small again with this brighter color, I can write my name. Maybe, that's not very good. The last thing I'll show you is this tool as well. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I kind of like that. I said it's meant to be used on a flat surface. We can really put it anywhere. So I can just draw right here. And right when my finger goes through that surface, that's where it starts to draw. And that works quite well as well. Now, you can't make it go uh, vertical against a wall. I think that'd be a pretty easy thing for them to add, but who knows? A bunch of different ways to draw on this thing. I think that's a pretty fun app. I'm gonna need the controller for this next one. Now, when I'm editing these videos for you guys, I'm not doing it on a little laptop here. This is the whole desk setup I'm using. And thanks to today's sponsor, FlexiSpot, they gave me this fantastic standing desk here to do my work. And I just wanna tell you guys a little bit about it, if you don't mind. This desk has a dual motor system, super quiet. And listen to this. This bamboo top material is super strong with a tensile strength of 28,000 pounds per square inch. We've got four different settings and we can manually set for memory any adjustment that we like, one through four. Standing, sitting, and then some extras if you need them. We can go up or down. Now check this out. This thing holds up to 220 pounds. So anything you wanna throw at it, good to go. If you do decide to use my link in the description to buy one of these desks for yourself, keep in mind it has a five-year coverage on the desk frame and motor and two years on the controls and electronics. The desk can go as low as 23.6 inches and as high as 48.8 inches. So even if you're super tall, it'll work for you. So again, thanks to FlexiSpot, and let's get back to the video. I'm gonna need the controller for this next one, Nexus. This app allows you to run GeForce Now straight on the Vision Pro. You can do it through native Safari, but I found this app just does a better job. So I'll show you what this looks like really quickly. Game controller is required to play. Uh, this is already linked to my Vision Pro. Orange means that we are connected. The way to do that, in case you're interested, is if you have a PS5 controller like this, you hold the PlayStation and Share buttons for about 5 or 10 seconds. It goes into a pairing mode, just like any other Bluetooth device you're in. Also, uh, I am using kind of the paid GeForce Now subscription to do this, and we can see we're going to stream in 4K, 60 frames a second, 10-bit color. Let's try some Fortnite. And just like that, we are in using the controller to play this game on my giant screen here. This screen gets pretty big too, as big as I want. Uh, full 4K streaming. You will notice though, it's a little choppy. So I really do think this is thanks to my network just having a few issues. Uh, I'm using an Aero mesh network, which unfortunately doesn't allow me to, to choose specific Wi-Fi channels. So I might have to mess around with possibly another router, but at least you can see what this would look like. I know people have gotten this working really well with the right router settings, but the fact that we can stream in 4K and go ahead and play is pretty cool. This app will also show you some network statistics here. So for example, you can see we're at 42 ping, which is okay. I think you generally wanna be below 20, but I am just getting this packet loss, like these lost frames. So it makes it kind of unplayable right now. I've had days where it works better, but you can see it's uh, not super useful with my current network settings. All right, let's go to the next app. Next up is MoviePass Screening Room. This is a movie trailer viewing app from MoviePass that allows you just to watch the latest movie trailers. So let's just take a quick look. Hey everyone, I'm it's cool that it actually has like this nice uh, color that changes based on what's on the screen. We can make the screen nice and big. It looks really clear as always. We've got our environments. 
there isn't really a next button or anything like that to go to the next trailer, but if we do go back, we can just go ahead and choose anything that we want to see. And it's pretty quick and snappy to just kind of see the latest movie trailers. So it's a pretty simple app, but for those who are into trailers, it works just as nicely as you would expect. Uh, I have seen other apps like this that I think do a little bit better because they allow you to kind of see what, like a, a playlist. Like it just kind of keeps going next to next to next trailer. And there's some custom environments and other apps. But otherwise, this pretty much does what you expect. Next up is Floor is Lava. You might be able to guess what this does. It makes your floor lava. Uh, I think this app works decently well. We got these nice little uh, fires coming up from the floor. That's pretty neat. Uh, it is, I think, a pretty recently released app. I'm hoping it updates to be just a little bit more accurate in terms of, you know, see how this table doesn't exactly recognize there should be lava on this part of the floor as well. But uh, this is a fun one for the kids if you want to uh, have them wear this and then uh, get all freaked out walking around the house. And as we kind of walk more this way, you'll see generally it should be mapping more of the floor, but we do see kind of certain areas where it stops mapping. He has no clue the danger he's in. Now it does also do flood, but I think the menu kind of disappears once you start running. The only way I figured out how to make it change to flood would be to close the app and then go to flood. And flood here, again, you know, the graphics are pretty basic. It kind of feels more like a, a misty blue swamp area that is layered on top of the floor. Next up is full moon. This is a local LLM which allows you to use the Apple Silicon on your device to just run a, uh, a language model. So let's get started. This basic Llama open source model, you can see it's pretty small, but they've got DeepSeek on here. Uh, they've got you know, another Llama model, so you can choose which model you want. We're gonna go ahead and download this. And just like that, we have an LLM on our device. So just real fast, we can say, um, You get the idea. So just like another LLM, you all know what a language model is by now. You can see we can change a few things like the appearance, change text size, etc. It's nice if maybe you don't have Wi-Fi, you can still use this because it's local. And you can of course just have this running elsewhere if you're running uh, different apps and you want to be kind of looking at a language model at the same time. And finally, we got Cupshot Showdown. Let's actually get some space for this one. This is just like a beer pong game. And what's nice about this one is it can understand right or left hand. So right hand or left hand. And then we can change. So we got the bots turn right now. It's going to throw. While it's throwing, we can change our throw sensitivity, ball bounciness. And for example, if I just make this really sensitive, I can just do a really light throw and it goes just way, way too far. So again, for me, I kind of like it down here. It is a little bit weird how small the ping pong ball is compared to the cups. Otherwise, it's a pretty standard game. And uh, yeah, I think you get what you expect on this one. So that's the showcase for today. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next one.